There are a couple of hacking definitions or definitions for hackers. We have uh, white hat hackers. Those are what we call the ethical hackers. They use their skill sets uh, uh, with the mindset of, of course, a hacker, but the purpose is protecting the company uh, or the organizational data information and privacy. And there are what we call the black hats. Uh, they do damages, they do uh, cyber attacks, uh, they do a lot of uh, uh, data breach attacks to organizations. And there are what we call in between, uh, it's called gray hats, a combination of white and a combination of, of black. When you say ethical hackers, they're bounded by what we call the code of conduct, wherein we need to use our skill sets ethically and legally. For example, uh, there is an organization, uh, let's say um, there are potential vulnerabilities within an organization. Before we even do scanning, before we even do analysis or assessments, we need to, of course, acquire the consent of that organization. That's the ethical way to do things, right? Um, and at the same time, before we start testing, before we even start analyzing a network or looking for potential vulnerabilities within a program or within another organization, there needs to be what we call the approval process to do so. Because again, if we try to penetrate um, an organization's network without their approval, that's automatically a breach, right? Because you don't have any approval in the first place. You don't have any um, uh, um, signed contract to begin with, meaning to say uh, you are um, violating uh, what's written with Republic Act 10173 and Republic Act 10175. Now, ethical hackers, we have a couple of um, certifications. Uh, right now, uh, we have what we call the CEH, Certified Ethical Hackers. There are also other certifications such as uh, CISSP, Certified Information Secu System Security Professional. Uh, other certification is CISM or Certified Information Security Manager. Those are ethical hackers because they, they know that there is a code of conduct. Once they earn those certifications, they will be bonded by uh, the code of conduct. Same practice with medicine and, and law, right? If you're going to be practicing medicine, you need to be bonded by the code of conduct for uh, medical practitioners. If you're going to be practicing law, there needs to be a code of conduct um, is being practiced by lawyers. The same thing for ethical hackers. So it's a combination of skill sets, experience. Certification is good to have. Yeah, it's it's good to have. It's it's your title, right? It's the validation of your skill sets. But then again, it needs to be a holistic approach as well. It needs to be a combination of skills, experience, and then good to have certifications. One of the most challenging stuff right now that we are encountering is the shortage of competent and highly skilled cybersecurity professionals. We need to start developing cybersecurity professionals as early as possible because as we move on, technological advancements will become more advanced, more advanced as we move on year by year. We're seeing a lot of advancements, a lot of improvements, and it's becoming a rapid digital transformation happening.